how you doing guys um before i get into the um video card upgrade video um talk a little bit about the reasons why i chose this specific video card which is the um the gtx or nvidia gtx um 570 hd right here and a little bit of picture on the back right here and I did a lot of research, I mean, you know, very lot over the months or whatever have you. And uh, due to several reasons, um, I mean, price, um, power requirements, some of the high-end uh, video cards draw too much power. Um, uh, it's a good amount of uh, video RAM, uh, 2.5 uh, gigabytes of video RAM compared to my paltry 512 megabytes. Um, I just I've always liked NVIDIA cards better. Um, the streaming um, core uh, technology is, I think, better developed through NVIDIA, so I can use um, CUDA cores and or OpenCL for a ver variety of programs. Um, of course, it uses GPU cores for doing many other things, uh, like video editing, um, colorizing video, um, could be a lot of stuff, so... That's probably my reason for choosing this card. And it's supposed to work actually quite well. Now, there's some better cards on the market that you could probably put in the Mac Pro. Um, uh, you can even put like a uh, 670 or 680. Um, but those are primarily better for gaming and not necessarily for you, you utilizing the uh, GPU cores for other third-party programs. So um, primarily why I choose the uh, GTX 570. Prior to the um, upgrade of the uh, video card, I wanted to take a, uh, a benchmark real quick on my current video card. So when I install the, the upgrade, I want to see um, what kind of performance increase I'm, I'll, I'll be getting uh, roughly. And uh, now I'm using the uh, Unigine uh, Heaven Benchmark 4.0. And uh, you see down here, this is uh, the video card I currently have, ATI Radeon HD. Um, 480, 70, 4870, and uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. And uh, my uh, score is about 544 currently. Um, minimum uh, frame per second, 12 to 35, with about 21.6 frames per second average. And so uh, once uh, the upgrade to uh, the newer video cards done, then we're going to compare the scores and see uh, how how well the upgrade did. Before you start the upgrade, you may need to um, buy a special six pin, the six pin adapter that goes from a mini six plug from the motherboard to a full size six pin to the video card. Also, if you use an Apple Cinema Display, you definitely need to get a um, adapter, which goes from the full-size display port to a, a mini display port that plugs directly to your Apple Cinema Display. Next thing we're going to do is remove the two six-pin power adapters from the end of the video card. Next, we're going to remove the PCIe retention bar, keep holding the video card in place. Next, we're going to unlock the retaining bar by uh, pushing the button and sliding the exhaust fan forward. Now we're going to replace the PCIe retaining bar in place and tighten down the screws.
Now we're going to plug in the uh, two six pin power adapters into the end of the video card. Okay, as you can see here, um, I just finished installing the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570 uh, video card uh, in the Mac Pro. And uh, as you can see, I'm just uh, showing you the uh, uh, specs on that one. And uh, I re-ran the uh, Unigine Heaven benchmark and uh, compared the scores between the two. And the average frame rate increase was about um, 38.4. Got a score of 966, which is uh, quite a bit faster. I think it was like um, four or 500 uh, uh, extra scores more. Average between 7.8 frames per second to 72.8. And uh, let me open up the um, first um, benchmark right there. And... Uh, Fortunately, I doubt if I can really put them side by side where you can see it. But uh, there was the previous scores, and uh, here's the new scores. As you can see, that's uh, quite a jump.